Close your eyes and focus on your breath. No one is coming in, no one is going out, and stay with the breath as much as you can, as consistently as you can. When you meditate, you're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. In fact, that's the meaning of the Pali term for meditation, bhavana, development. You're trying to develop mindfulness, keeping something in mind, alertness, watching what you're doing. Naranzi, trying to do this well, give it your full attention. The mind slips off, bring it right back. Slips off again, bring it back again. Try to make the breath as comfortable as possible so that it's a pleasant place to come back to. And keep at that. Today in Thailand is a the day called Takpa Tewo, from the Pali Dewo Rohana, the day when the devas opened the world. The story goes that when the Buddha was born, after seven days his mother died, and he was reborn in heaven. And then after he became the awakening, he decided to teach her. So he went up into the heavens and spent the whole rains retreat teaching his mother, who had now become a male deva. And then at the end of the rains, he came down, back to earth. The stairway came from heaven down to earth. Buddha came down the stairway. There was a Indra was on one side and Brahma was on the other side. And people who hadn't had the opportunity to make merit for three months with him were thronging around. You may have noticed the rice wrapped in banana leaves we had this morning. They say that a lot of people couldn't get close to the Buddha, so they wrapped their rice in banana leaves and threw it into his bowl. It's not a very pretty picture. But what is interesting about the day, as I said, that as the devas came down, they opened up the world so everybody on every level of the world could see everybody else on every other level. Beings on earth could see that there were really were hells, and there really were heavens, and there really were Brahma worlds. And for that brief moment, the punishments in hell were lifted for a bit so that hell beings could see what was going on up in the world above them as well. And you can imagine, if you actually saw that, what an impact it would have on you. We hear about the heavens, we hear about the worlds, and all we have are worlds in our imaginations, which sometimes have some influence on our behavior and sometimes don't. It's easy, easy to forget. But if you actually saw these things, realizing that your actions do have consequences and can have long-term consequences, you'd be very careful about what you did. It's a shame this doesn't happen about once a year. Actually opening up the world so people can see. I noticed when I was in Thailand, as the Ajans got older, they got more and more insistent that this was the important teacher they wanted to leave behind with their students, that heavens are real, hells are real. All these various levels of the being that the Buddha talked about are real. And his teachings about how to get to the different levels are also real. So you could take your actions seriously. The world tells you that what they're doing is more important than what you're doing, so you have to pay attention to them. But the Buddha says what you're doing is the most important thing in your life, so you pay attention to that. Be very careful not to harm anybody. This is why we take the precepts every week, every week, to remind you that this is really an important, basic part of the practice. As the precepts make you honest, and they make you more sensitive to what's going on, both in your actions and also in your, your intentions behind the actions. That's something you want to be sensitive to. Because if there's any desire to harm anybody, even if it's a careless desire, it really does leave a mark in the mind, and you don't want to have your mind scarred up like that. So think about that. If the heavens and the hells were open, we could see them all the time. You'd do everything you could to avoid the hells, get to the heavens and where you could practice. Can you practice and you get out of all this? Because even the heavenly realms have their end. The devas fall. The brahmas fall. When they fall, they fall hard. So do your best to practice. Take the Buddhist teachings on karma and rebirth seriously, and you find that you benefit and the people around you benefit as well.